In this Flowblade tutorial I will show you how to create split screen video clips. I've assumed you have a basic understanding of editing in Flowblade. A link to my beginners tutorial is included in the description below for those that don't. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. I've brought these four clips into Flowblade. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drag one of these clips into track one. And I'm also using a proxy clip as well. Now to scale this and reposition this uh, clip, if you just right click on the track and then add filter then come to transform and then left click on translate now this will bring up this bar or this uh, filter here and you can position your video on the X which is left to right by sliding this and up and down on the Y and also you can scale this uniformly um, you have to think a little bit sometimes about what you're doing because these are in pixels. So what I'm going to do is, this is the height of the video, 1080, so this is a 1920 by 1080 uh, video. So I'm going to literally have this to 540 and this will bring this up here. Now these sides here are quarter of 1920. So in the X here, because I want it to move to this side, I'm going to type in minus 480. Hit return. 480 is a quarter of 1920. And that's fine. That's all I'm going to do with this video. So I'm going to come back to the media tab here and I'm going to drag this into view. Now if I right click on this one and then go to add filter and then transform and translate I'll resize this one again by typing in manually typing in 540 and at the top Instead of minus, I'm going to type in 480. But as you can see, you can't see anything. With Flowblade, you tend to work um, to the bottom track, so you need to add what they call compositors. So if you select the second track, right click, and then next to add compositor, put in something like a fine blend and that's all you need to do. But there is something you need to change as you go the more tracks you add so just bear with. I'm going to go to media again and this time I'll drag this one in put it into track 3 or V3 right click add filter and again translate and for ease, I'm going to just make this one have this 540. And this time I need to drop it down, say, to this corner here. So in this box here, I'm going to make this 480. Now this section here is half of 1080. So all I need to do in the wise box. You can do what you want with these, but for these, I'm going to just type in 540 and hit return. Now select the track, make sure you've got the, in this instance is track 3, right click, then add compositor, a fine blend, and this will happen. And the reason why this is happening is because this track is relating to this one. What we need to do is where it says destination track V2, left click and then left click on V1. Now this is relating to the bottom track. 
Oh, I won't explain why it works like this, but this is the way it works. So I'll just do one more. Go back to media. Let's drag this one in. Add a scale. Add filter. Change this to 540 or whatever you want to do. And this one will be minus 480 and in this section here Y will be 540. Make sure this track 4 in this instance is selected, right click, add compositor, a fine blend and it will say destination track, this instance it says V3, left click type left click on V1 and hopefully you should have something that looks a bit like this as I said you can do what you want you can with the filters you can muck around you could have one in the middle it's just a matter of trying to working out where and what size you want to uh, create you could you could also do a um, a montage by rotating these if you wanted to so really that's all there is to it um, if you want black borders or a colored border you might want to just change the size here and add a black it's, these would be moved up to say V1 and you could have a black or a colored strip which you can do in the projects box I think yeah create colored clip but I won't go into that as I said at the beginning um, I assume you have some knowledge of editing in um, Flow Blade, so I won't go into rendering. And like I normally say, hopefully that's helped somebody. Thank you for watching. Cheers.